Hey guys, how are you? <laughs> today is going to be revolutionary because guys, I think I think I have it figured out. And today I'm going to share with you every single thing you need to know in order to live. See you, right? And now trust me, you'll be thanking me later. But for right now, I want to share my biggest fear. My biggest fear is getting old. I'm terrified of getting old. It's 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 horrible. Time sucks. I hate it because you go from having such a large increment of time and you think, this is great, like I have so much time, to having nothing. So to be in a hospital bed or in a chair watching TV, even if you have loved ones surrounding you, my biggest fear is to have regrets echoing through my mind so loud that it sounds like locker door slamming, right? So it's like an incessant noise and it won't stop because you have this small amount of time and you're still trying to answer the question of what if? Why why didn't I go on that road trip? Why didn't I jump out of that plane? And you won't be able to answer that question because you're 84. <laughs> you're not going road tripping. So the decision is entirely up to you. Who do you want to be? Do you want to be in a hospital bed? Or do you want to be Betty White in Boston prison? <laughs> Personally, I'm going to be Betty White. I don't have any regrets about it. But what's scary to me is that 59% out of 10,000 people on Forbes and Psychology Today voted that their number one regret in life is I wish I had the courage to live true to myself. That means that 59% of people thought that they would let other people dictate their lives, they didn't have enough courage, or they didn't believe in themselves, and they didn't live the life that they wanted to live. They never knew what they could have had because they let society or their family tell them where they could go. And that's terrifying to me because not only was that the number one regret listed, in fact, underneath that, there was 5,430 other, other regrets listed. And then I clicked out of that link, and then there was a top 10,000, a top 100,000, a top 50,000. So the question came up, why are there so many regrets? And you might be sitting there thinking, well, there's so many people, I'm sure, not everybody is going to be in a hospital bed with 5,430 regrets. Being like, oh my god, I'm old. My life sucks. How did this happen? That's not going to happen, but I don't even want you to have this regret. I want you to live the life that you're supposed to live. So, I'm here today to talk to you about how important it is to live. You're one of 400 trillion. <laughs> Oprah is a little bit wrong here because you don't get a life, you don't get a life. Not everybody gets a life because, guys, here's a little secret, right? We're all champions. We're really <laughs> incredible human beings. So when anybody tells you, hey, it's okay, just settle, be happy with what you have, they're wrong. <laughs> because clearly someone didn't tell them that they're an incredible human being. We have beat the hardest championship in the world. We beat out a little bit under 400 other trillion competitors in order to be here today. So right now, we're alive, we're living, we're breathing. Which is great, I'm, I hope. <laughs> so, basically, that means, put into its perspective for you, 400 trillion is a huge number, I still can't see it. So, <laughs> you have a higher chance of winning the lottery 10 times. My parents obviously won the lottery with me once, but <laughs> <laughs> nine more times. You have a higher chance of getting struck by lightning, which is pretty believable, right? But guys, if you're familiar with the animal of a shark, it swims in the ocean, right? It needs to be in the ocean because it's where it likes to be. But you have a higher chance of getting attacked by a shark on the water. So what that means is that you're going to hey, beach shark, could you just bite my leg, please? I know that might sound crazy to you, and you're like, a shark is not going to run up to me. Hey, and bite you. No, it's not going to do that. But what I'm saying is we are just incredible human beings. And I mean, guys, come on. A shark on land, it just doesn't happen. So, time, as I mentioned before, is terrifying to me. And I'm sure other people have huge fears. But it's not something I want to focus on. But I do want to point stuff out to you. That the average age in America of death is 78. So it says turning 78 is so easy. Obviously, you're wrong. <laughs> Chances are, which... All of us are pretty active. I will make it to 90. Love the out outdoors. But um, that, that's not a lot of time because that's only 28,470 days. So if any of you guys, which I hope you're not, are thinking, oh, well, that's pretty good. That's a lot of time. You're completely wrong. <laughs> because you're just entirely wrong. Because, guys, you spend 9,581 days sleeping. 
That's one third of your life completely swept away. It's gone. What do you, I, you have nothing. And then it's been <laughs> 1,337 days eating, 3,765 days working, 1,179 days on our phones, 3,353 days watching TV. So collectively, I had this in hours before, and then I said that's not, the numbers were huge, but you, you can't imagine that, right? So I put in the days. So collectively, that's so around 18,000 days, right? So that leaves you with about 10,000 days left to live. And that to me is mind boggling and it's terrifying because I can't escape sleep. And that right there is one third of my life gone. I, I love to sleep. I love to eat, clearly. I love eating. And um, working, you have to work, right? You have to support yourself. But why are we spending around 5,000 days, 4,000, on our phones or in front of screens? Why aren't we outside? Why aren't we living, right? So, guys, um, I have a plan. <laughs> it's pretty intense, but if you guys can, <laughs> it's happening. But if you guys can handle being born, I think you can handle this because Mother's Day and Father's Day, it's irrelevant because well, you should get Child's Day, right? <laughs> we made out 400 trillion other competitors, so parents need to pipe down a little bit. So here's my plan. And it's pretty intense, right? Stop. I want you all to focus, right? Stop. Stop existing. If I see you in the hallway, if I see you after we graduate walking down the street existing with your face in your phone or not interacting, I'm going to slap your phone out of your face because I want you to, I want you to live, right? I want you to be engaged and, I, and myself included. I, I'm, I mean, it's on my desk right now. I am on my phone. But it's, it's dumb and I think it's a, a complete waste of time. So get off your phone, interact, be present because... You are better than one in a million. When people say you're one in a million, they're wrong. And when it's on a pencil, break the pencil and throw it up because you're one of 400 trillion. It's not as good as one in quintillion, but you, you won life, so you can't win them all. <laughs> so my message to you guys is to do LSD, <laughs> to live simply daily. And what this to me means is to go, to say yes, because when you're in that hospital bed or when you're in that chair, even if you have loved ones surrounding you and telling you how much they love you and how much, they, how much they're going to miss you, I, I won't be listening to that because I'm going to be terrified if I have regrets. I don't want to be thinking, why didn't I go in that shark cage? Why didn't I tip that cow? <laughs> I don't want to do all that stuff because you're always going to be answering the question of what if. So our time right now is so so vital because we're at a major turning point in our lives, right? We're 17, 18 years old, we're graduating, and it's so exciting, and I wanted to share this with you guys now because I love all of you guys. So, <laughs> so, regardless of what we're doing after high school, right, it could be college, it could be work, it could be the military, I don't want you guys to get stuck in the mundane cycle, getting up, going to work, coming home, watching TV, going to bed, waking up, and this cycle continues, it's not a way of living. And I understand work is necessary, but don't, don't settle. You don't have to settle. You're so special. So live simply daily. Live every day to the fullest. Say yes. Do it simply. Don't overthink things. Don't stress over things that you can't control because you waste time. Don't do that. It's a waste of time. And do it every day. So don't ever say, oh, I hate Mondays. Mondays suck. Because they don't suck. You don't get that many of them. So appreciate them. So just YOLO really hard, guys. Thank you. <laughs>